Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Zombie Cure Lab, a very unique game where you actually get to take zombies and cure them. Uh, so basically there's a backstory, architects went mad, took over everyone, ate their brains. However, the clever engineers, let's see, you can see their engineers, they're in hard hats. They managed to cage some of the architects and study them. And now we're going to head out into the wilderness and try and save humanity. So first off, we need to enter a new lab name. Is there a limit to how long the lab name can be? Or are you going to let me do a Josh and just keep typing and typing until my fingers come off? Because I'm probably going to need to start playing the game now. Start new lab. So we start off, we got to place down our main storage. So we'll wang that there. And then we get a nice fence around the outside. And we got to place our landing zone. So I'm going to plop that there. And then you can probably hear that. It sounds like a helicopter, but no, it's a quadcopter. Uh, it looks a bit broken there. What's happened to that front right propeller? Anyway, they have dropped us some Moose Lab resources. And what is Moose Lab? It's a multi-purpose observation of scientific experiments lab. And out the back of it, pop these two people. So they are our scientists that are going to help us out. So first off in the top left, we have a load of things to help us. So we're going to we're gonna come into the build menu down here and we're going to build a resource cap. Now this will let us, surprisingly, collect resources. And wherever we put this, you can see the number of resources they're sort of changing. So I think that's a good spot. There's loads and loads of carrots there. 430 carrots. So boosh. And then you see more people are leaving the container. He's just grabbed some resources out of our main base. And then he's coming over here and he's built it. Cheers, mate. So next up, we're going to build one of these, a hauling post. So this will let us move resources more efficiently uh, with the use of wheelbarrows. So we'll shove that there. And again, our scientists are coming over with the required resources and building that. Lovely. Thank you very much. And then these two over here, they're working at the resource camp. They're currently chopping down trees. Uh, they don't look very in control of that axe, I won't lie. But you can see every single chop they do, uh, wood is falling out. And then these other ones, they're coming over with their wheelbarrows and collecting that putting it in the resource pile. So lovely jubbly. And you can see all of our resources down the bottom. Now, all these resources, you can prioritize them. You can see in the top left, we're currently, to complete the objective, we need 10 more globaries. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to up the priority of that. Go get the blooming globaries, you knobs. Oi, stop chopping that tree. Davy Shanann. All right, there you go. I've made him go do it. <laughs> I think he's in the middle of chopping a tree. He didn't want to stop. But now he's collecting the globeries. Do you think it's glowberry or glowberry? I feel like strawberry is spelt strawberry. No one says strawberry, do they? I feel like a berry made out of straw. Anyway, we only need one more of them. And then we've completed the objective. And then we've got a load more objectives. So this is just teaching us that inside each building, we can just add different workers. And then we can make people work day shifts and night shifts. So we're only going to make them work in the day. And then to replenish the needs of our humans, we're going to have to build a kitchen and a dining table because we're not monsters. We're no longer architects. We're not going to be zombies. We have better standards than that. We will eat from a table. Um, and then also a bedroom with some beds and a couch. Nice. So I guess before we build the kitchen, we should probably see how big the dining table is. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's quite a big size that. Okay. The kitchen, I reckon we'll do seven by five. Seems good enough. So we'll build that for 140 logs. Oh, what the hell? Someone's graffitied it. They put rainbows and flowers on the inside. Who was that? Was it you, Noreen? Anyway, we then need a door to this room. So we'll wang that there. And then shove the table in. Voila, we can now eat. We will not starve. That is good. So next up, we'll build a bedroom. It's got to be 7 by 10. Blimey, hell, that's big. I'm not going to do 7 by 10. I will do 8 by 9. And shove a door there. Get some beds inside and a couch. Actually, two back-to-back -back couches. And then we'll leave them building that, hopefully in time for the night shift, of which there shouldn't be a night shift. I want them all to sleep this first night. Because uh, in the future, this is going to get a, a little bit tricky at night time. Let's put it that way. Right, nightfall is upon us. Uh, fortunately, there's no zombies on this first night. So we are safe. However, yes, that will be something that will happen. We'll be being attacked every single evening by zombies. Um, but that's actually a good thing because the aim of this obviously is to capture zombies and then heal them and then they'll join us. All right, so the bedroom is done. Yeah, and then next up, we've got to build a science room. So that will let us research. And like any good game, there is a huge research tree to be... Ex oh my goodness, that is actually massive. That's what she said. <laughs> so we'll build a big-ass science room down there. 
We'll do a door from that point. And then they get into work building that. Good work, guys. And a fair play to them. They work through the night. It's day two. But uh, tonight there's going to be 19 strong zombies. Uh, so we're going to have to get our defenses up. But first, let's get some research desks. So I'm going to shove them along this back wall, I think. So three along there like that. So that's the room down. And they're just plopping down the desks. And plop. And then you can see the researchers. They're coming over and they are researching away. Look at them go. Anyway, there's all sorts of things to research. We're going to go into production. We're going to come to the Bellow Breezer, uh, which allows us to create ice packs. So once we've got 50 research, which is about now, we can then research that. Now, you might be wondering, well, Matt, what the hell is an ice pack for? Oh, well, remember, we're not killing zombies. We are trying to cure them. So the only ammo we'll be using is ice to try and freeze them. Uh, it's worth noting as well, if, if zombies see a gate around your defenses, they'll go for that first, since that is the weak spot. They do still have brain zombies. Despite deriving from architects, they do have a brain. So first off, let's build a gate up here, because this will also allow us to get outside for all these other resources. I mean, look here, we have an abandoned fridge filled with lots of ice packs. Decent. So the deforestation's going well in here. Uh, time to think about defending this thing. So... We need a bellow breezer to create the ice packs. Let's shove that there, I reckon. And then we need some defenses. So we're going to have the snowball shooter. Uh, and since they will be attacking the gate, we're going to move this right close to the gate. So probably, I imagine there will do, right? So there's the bellow breezer. Let's get someone in there. All right, so here you go. These two are going to work. They're freezing. Can you see there's like a bit of, there's a bit of water there. They're freezing it with a massive bellow to turn it into an ice pack. Uh, very, very efficient technology, to be fair. Now, this guy out here, he's dismantling. Yes, dismantling. He's not just whacking it. So that's going to give us even more ammo. And then you'll see our snowball shooter is complete. Now, it can shoot in a 360 direction, hence the circle radius. But you will notice it's got that symbol, which means it's got no power. Now, thankfully, you can just build a power pole for 25 wood. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to build that there and hope that that counts as being in range. So highest priority on that. And is it in range? Oh, it's not in range. <laughs> Why did you have to be that shape? Anyway, we'll build another power pole there. And then that should cover it. We have the snowball shooter ready. And then we're sort of ready to defend ourselves in the evening. But of course, the aim is to capture and cure the zombies. So back to the science lab. Because uh, we need to build one of these, a treatment chamber. So we'll plonk one of those there. Uh, it's going to take 300 logs, though, so we've got to make sure we're still chopping trees. Thankfully, these guys are going at it down there. <laughs> Look at that person's face. That's terrifying. Anyway, again, that's not connected to the power grid, so we'll build a power pole in that room. There we go, and that is powered up. So the cure lab is completed. We've got someone coming over. Here we go. So they're firing that up, ready for the evening, where hopefully we'll catch some zombies. Now, we know they should attack from up here. So, I feel like it might be worth investing in a snow cannon as well. So, I've researched that. We'll build that there, although it's already nightfall. All right, you people outside, you're going to have to come in. I don't know where they're going to come from. But, oh, look, there they are. There they are. They're attacking over that side. No, I thought you were meant to go for the gate. All right, get back in. Get back in. All right, here you go. Since the gate is open, the zombies, they're all rushing over this way. You can see they're getting hit with the snowballs. I'm hoping someone will jump on the snow cannon. There we go. There we go. And all we've got to do is freeze them into ice blocks and then we can collect them. Uh, you got, you really need to stop hiding in the horde of zombies. Like, <laughs> Go inside, you knobs. Anyway, they're getting properly frozen. Fair play. The snow cannon doing wonders. Uh, also get me hyped for my ski trip that I got coming up. Well, snowboard trip. Only architect ski. But look, look, one is now in there, so we can prioritize for treatment. But it should mean we can easily transport him over to the main lab to get cured. Uh, first, we need to survive the night. I love that whilst all this carnage is happening. Like, some guy's just like, yeah, I, I need a nap, mate. I need to lie down. I worked hard today. That's the night shift crew's job. It's not my responsibility. <laughs> um, to be fair, quite annoyed at these scientists. They're literally just, like, cowering on the floor. Still, the sun is now rising. Look how many are frozen. <laughs> Right, there you go. So they all disappear now the sun is rising because obviously they get burnt in the sun. Uh, and we've got all of these zombies that we can cure. Well, there's a few in the middle that are trapped by the ice cubes. So look, now we are transporting the zombies over. So they'll go down the alleyway into the science room. 
and plop him in to the cage. And then these guys are going to work their magic. Look, you can see him in there. He's angry. He's not happy. But uh, we're going to do our thing. We're going to try and remove his head of the, like, glass curved wall propaganda he's been spilled at architect school. And look, there he is. Now, so as it says here, this guy's called a Humby. He's basically between a human and a zombie. Uh, if their mood gets too low, they can get angry and they'll damage everything and everyone. So we've got to look after them. So we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a skill training room. We'll plonk that there. And then I'm rebuilding the kitchen to merge it all into one big room. So I can build a meat cultivator down there. That will allow us to get meat for our zombie human things. Because then in here, I can place a feeding pile where my humbies can eat. So that can go in there. And of course, with our main humans eating here, I put that way around the corner through a locked door as well. Because uh, no one wants to see that, do they? Anyway, in the skill training room, we're going to build a leg press so we can get some strength up in our people. Yeah, but first off, we are under attack yet again. Run, run. Uh, this guy axing. I don't know if you've noticed behind you, but there's a lot of zombies. I don't know how you're going to get back in. Anyway, thankfully, they made it in just. Oh, no, they, they've, they've gone back out again. All right, so I've just pressed this lockdown button. So all my all my workers, they should run away apart from the ones fighting. There you go. At least they're not cowering by the gate anymore. Uh, but yeah, I'm seeing quite a few zombies getting frozen this evening, which means we're going to have lots more Humbies join our colony. And they'll enjoy that as well, because look how much meat we've got saved up for them. Oh, and just like that, it's the next morning. So most of the zombies will run off. Uh, where do they actually go? Oh, they go, they go into the tunnel. Okay. Classic architect behavior hiding in tunnels because they know they've had no hand in designing them. They know they're safe. Anyway, now we can disable both of those buildings, which means we've got two more jobs. And then hopefully, yep, we'll start moving these guys back into the cure lab. Anyway, I can send away five of my Humbies in the helicopter, and that will actually help them get healed quicker. So you can see this is where we are now. That's where the moose lab is. So the helicopter's going to leave there, going to pick up those people, and then they'll be gone. Now, I think that'll be fine, though, because we were about to get that many new people join us. So I'm going to high priority the cure lab. Right, there we go. There's the helicopter. Mate, your wing is absolutely mullered. They've tried to fix that with wood. I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. Anyway, you can see now we're down to just one Humby. Um, but the others, they should get cured, hopefully. So that's, that's not all bad. So next up, we got nearly 500 research. So let's get some stuff unlocked. Now, I am a bit worried about the Humbies going mental. So we can get these calming stations. So we'll unlock one of them. I feel like probably worth getting some batteries to store. And oh, we can shame people. I feel like though the zombies have already been shamed enough. I'm going to get a wind turbine. I feel like that, that is the most sensible thing to do now. All right, whilst we've been doing that, you will notice that these, these zombies have been melting. So we've got two choices. We can either fire up the snow cannon snowball shooter again, or we can just leave them and they should run off. We keep an eye on Georgia Leaf here. Yeah, they proper scarp. <laughs> like it's too blooming hot out here. Oh, nice. Anyway, let's get a calming station down. So, so if we shove that there. Yeah, they're pretty happy. They're very happy right now, to be fair. Just loving life. But if they do go, if they do get unhappy, uh, they can just stand in front of that. I think that will spin around. Uh, and that'll just calm them down. Uh, next up, I'm going to shove a battery down there. That will just give us more electricity to play with. Because we've only got 23 at the moment. Anyway, it's nightfall again. So let's do the lab lockdown. Get inside, everyone. Look, the zombies keep going for that wall. Are they wearing, like, fancy hats? So fancy! Who do you lot think you are, eh? Anyway, they finally found the door. I think we should be fine defending like that. There's, there's only 19 zombies. Same strength as before. So we'll just fast forward through the night. There we go. We're starting to freeze them. So we're doing good. And no, no, no. They broke it in. They broke it in. No. Oh, I got cocky. I got cocky. Yeah, I'm right. This might be too late. But I did see there's a guard armory I can research. So we'll do that. And then we'll build a guard armory over there, hopefully. Oh, thankfully it's morning. It's morning. They're buggering off. Oh, I thought we were doomed. I thought we were doomed. But yeah, if I get this guard armory down, it means we can equip our people to actually fight back should our defenses get breached. Uh, let's set that wall to be repaired. There we go. Man, thankfully, although they breached us, we've still got 19 humans. So I don't think we lost any that time. Uh, shows you just how quickly things can change, though. But yeah, anyway, we're back to curing zombies, turning them into engineers. There we go. Now, I'm going to get the wind turbine down over here as well. So there we go. 
That should help us produce power quicker. Because I think we're only producing like 15. So that capacity, that's what our battery is helping us store. Now that's going to go down really quick unless we start producing some more. Uh, yeah, we got a solar panel up there. It's sort of stitched together. It's not the best. Uh, what's also up? Oh, it's a beaver. It's a beaver. Oh. Welcome back to Zombie Cure Lab. Anyway, wind turbine is in. We're now making 30. Decent. The guard armory is also equipped, so they're just stocking that up. Uh, so basically, if our walls get breached, the, the scientists can just come over and they can turn into guards, essentially. And then to level up to like the next tier of stuff, we need to get the tier 2 basic lab. We need 450 research, 3,000 wood. So we're quite a way off that. We're only at 1,000 wood right now. So I think that's probably a good spot to end. Uh, quite a cool game. Very, very different to your usual zombie defense. Because we're trying to cure them. We're trying to help the architects. But yeah, if you enjoyed, boost like button. Let me know in the comments below. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and zombies. Bye!